I know a lot of people around me that have, you know, runny noses, sneezing, body aches, different symptoms of what they telling us is the symptoms of the coronavirus. And I have a lot of people around me who had those symptoms and we just move about, we just moving about life like it's normal because I mean, really at the end of the day, like how are we actually going to just stop? You know, how are we gonna just stop? Um, they tell people that they gotta stay home, but a lot of people don't have that luxury. We are all dressed and ready to go. Where you going? She about to get her nails and her feet done finally. Just going about our day like it's normal. My girlfriend, she is an essential worker. She has been out on the front line since day one. And for somebody like me who I don't go to work nine to five, I had the luxury to stay home. But she still was out there. And every time she go out there, she come home. Now I'm vulnerable to it. Um, so like I said, I'm, I, I got tissue right here. My nose is running all the time, sneezing all the time. Everybody around me all show, you know, signs of, you know, having this virus. But the reality of the situation is like, what are we gonna do? You know, how are we gonna just stop? We just pulled up at the 7-Eleven, uh, taking a little pit stop before we, um, go to the nail salon but i'm gonna tell you one thing one thing that has changed in life is these masks everybody's supposed to wear masks some people don't but i wear my mask um, i remember it was march 20th i went to go get tags for my car now mind you the coronavirus was already present it was already here in america but it hadn't like hit and I remember March 20th I went to go get tags for my car and the day after everything shut down mm -hmm. it's nice in yes. here you need anything at all? no it is nice in here do she need anything? acrylic polish acrylic regular polish no gel no Very nice. You know, for me, it was like that was normal for me. I was so used to being at home, I was so used to being in my house and doing everything online. And now it felt like everything and everybody came to me, you know, at this point. Everything was online. Everybody was staying home. Everybody was focused on trying to create life out, create life in their house, essentially. And, or without leaving their house. Everybody working from home and that's what I was doing prior. A lot of people tell their story of life before and life after the the coronavirus. They have a pretty different outlook on life, pretty different outlook on you know their situation than me. Reason why is uh, I'm not gonna say I, I I have issues with saying that this is probably the best thing that could have happened in my life in a really long time prior to um, the coronavirus hitting, like, things were pretty, pretty bad, you know, suffering from mental health issues, and I'm still suffering now, but for some reason, this situation gave me the confidence, the courage, the 
I don't know, the just a whole new outlook on life to really go and chase my dreams and uh, that's what I've been doing.